Hello, in this video we're going to use a Cobb-Douglas utility function to calculate the income elasticity of demand. So here's our Cobb-Douglas utility function, a function of good X and good Y. Here's the consumer's budget constraint, M is income, price of good X times units of good X plus the price of good Y times units of good Y. We want to solve for the income elasticity of demand for good X, so the first thing we're going to do is derive the demand for good X. I'm going to do that by getting the marginal utility of good x, taking the partial derivative of the utility function with respect to x, we get this result. Bringing the 1 half down in front is where this 0.5 is coming from. On this exponent here on x, it's 1 half minus 1. Uh, it's the rules of taking the derivative of that, so we get this result. And then we get the marginal utility of good y in a similar manner. The exponent on y comes down in front. And then on this exponent on y, we're subtracting 1. So 1 half minus 1 leaves y raised to the minus 1 half power. Next thing we're going to do is set up the utility maximizing condition where the marginal rate of substitution equals the price of good x divided by the price of good y. What is the marginal rate of substitution? It is the marginal utility of good x divided by the marginal utility of good y. So that's what I have on the left-hand side here, the marginal utility of good x divided by the marginal utility of good y. We're going to simplify this. So the 0.5s cancel. Moving over here. Um, rules of the exponents here, we can bring this x to the minus 1 half down into the denominator and we'll just get x. And we can take this y to the minus 1 half and move it up into the numerator, just giving us y in the numerator. And I want to solve this expression now for y. So multiplying both sides through by x, we get this result. The next thing we'll do is we're going to take our budget constraint and where we see y in the budget constraint. Here's our budget constraint up here where we see a y. We're going to plug in this term over here, the price of good x divided by the price of good y times x. You can see my substitution right here. You'll notice that the price of good y and the price of good y cancel. And then just adding up the right hand side, we've got 2 times the price of good x times x. Dividing through by 2 times the price, we get our ordinary demand function for good x. So once we have our demand for good x, we will calculate the income elasticity, which is the partial derivative of the demand function with respect to income. And then that's going to be multiplied by income divided by x. So the partial derivative of the demand function with respect to income, so the der derivative or uh, uh, partial derivative of m is 1. So that's why we have 1 divided by 2 times the price of x. The next thing I'm going to do in this formula is m. It's just going to rewrite m here again. And then finally, what are we going to do with this x term? We're going to plug in the demand for good x. So where I have x, I'm plugging in the demand for good x. And you'll notice some things are going to cancel quite nicely for us. The 2 times the price of good x uh, terms will cancel. M, the m's will cancel, and we're just left with an income elasticity of 1. Okay, I hope you found this video helpful.